That's why he picked the perfect victim. Young black girl that nobody cared about. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Jason Pope. Jason Pope is a 42 year old man who was arrested for sex trafficking in Florence, South Carolina. Now, I've been seeing so many pictures about him on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, oh, and, and YouTube. So I've seen him all over the place and I'm just like, this is nasty. Like, I was seeing the pictures, like the albums being shared and I was just like, this cannot be real. And then I'm like, I, I read that he has HIV and what he has going on. I'm listening to other people discuss him. And I'm just like, this is nasty. This is nasty. And one thing that I noticed is a lot of people are blaming the girls. They're blaming the girls. Like, that is not the person to blame. While they are young, yes, they are not a sound mind to be out here making these types of decisions to have sex, be held against their will, and be forced to, to perform sex acts. And the only thing they're getting in turn were like alcohol and drugs. Like these are children, okay? I was reading uh, news reports that he has complaints going back all the way to 2011. It's 2019, he just got arrested this year in August. He chose the perfect victim. He chose the perfect victim. His neighbor has been stated that he saw a lot of young girls, probably minors, coming and going from that home and some of them disappearing. If his neighbor knew, his neighbor could have spoke up and said something. But let me tell you something. He picked the right victim. Young black girls that nobody cares about. Nobody cares about when little black girls go missing. We saw them girls go missing about a year or two ago. Nobody cared. That wasn't all over to all over the news. The very first time I saw that on the news when social media blew up about it. Trying where are these girls at? These these girls right here, I see them as young as 13 years old talking about having HIV. 13, 14, 16. These are children. These are children. I don't care about all the pictures that are being posted all over the Facebook. A lot of those pictures, I believe those some of those pictures, if not maybe 75% of them, are minors. Not all of them are, are, are adult women. And I notice he has a fetish for these like shiny leggings or something like that. Like he makes all these girls wear these leggings and he takes these nasty pictures with them. Tongue all down the mouth, gripping their butts, hands on their vaginas like... I've seen the pictures. We've all seen the pictures. And it's nasty. It's nasty. Like, and I see a lot of people want to call it like, uh, what swirling goes wrong or, you know, just all these ridiculous, ridiculous titles. Like, and it's crazy because the main person who was hyping it up is the main person that he, he's trying to attack. He, he gets these, I feel, he has an agenda. For me, I think he has an agenda. He goes out and infects these black girls, these young black girls, so 13, 14, 15, you know, girls who are sexually finding themselves, and then they go out and later on sleep with black boys and black men, spreading it all over the place. And let me tell you something, he all up in black men's faces, always going to these rap shows, taking pictures with all these rappers. I saw pictures of him with Fetty Wap, I saw uh, Rich Homie Quan. Morris Chestnut, Ludacris. There was a few pictures like he's taking pictures with famous people. You know, even famous black women. I saw Keisha Cole. I saw Kaya, uh, Jocelyn. So he's, he, I guess he's putting himself out there. He's made a name for himself. But let me tell you something. He is up in black men's faces being friends with black men so he can go out and infect black men ultimately. He has set off a bomb. That's how I see it. Sleep with these black girls, these young black girls who will in turn sleep with these black men and now everybody's infected. He done turned around. He he's he set off a bomb. He set off a ticking time bomb and nobody knows if they have it. And he's talking about he got body count of 
690 something, almost 700. Let's just say 700. He has a body count of 700 black women. And he posted this on Facebook and nobody had a problem with it. I'm sure he was getting mad props when it happened. Oh, you got 700, 700, 700. Anybody who knows who they slept, if, if anybody knows who they slept with 700 people, they are counting because they have a, they have an agenda. They have an agenda. Nobody's sitting here counting on anything. Most people only sleep, don't even sleep with that many people in a lifetime. If they sleep with 10, maybe. You know, grown for he's 42 years old. 600, 700? You have an agenda. You are plotting. You are spreading disease. And you got to think, if he can sleep with that many people and one person, let's see, say sleeps with maybe 10, 15 people over the span of their life or till they may be 40, 50 years old, that's a lot of people to be infected. That is a lot of people to be infected. Just getting out there. He has an agenda and he got everyone good. Let me smile up in these black men's faces. Let me be cool with all these black men. Let me go ahead and be up in their shows. Be around them. I'm cool. He was probably, he was probably, this is my nigga. This is my nigga. You know, these are my boys. And, and, and he turns around and says, fuck your women. He doesn't care about black women. He doesn't care about black men. But he played everybody. Everybody. Like a fiddle. Because I see all the pictures. He with his homies and they got money. They got all these things on doing doing a club promotions and you know doing all these things and in reality he don't care. He has an agenda. He got he he infiltrated and now he he's now he's infected. And now it's going to spread and that's sad because these people are young. Some of the pictures the women was older. That's they business. Like if you want to go ahead and do that and put yourself out there and be nasty and be be sleeping with him all unprotected. That's that's y'all business, but these young girls are the only ones I care about. Like, if you grown, you grown. That's what you that's just your get down. But these 13, 14, 15 years old girls, that's that's a whole different ball game. These girls is young. They minds can be played with. Unlike a woman who who's mature and should be, you know, up to, up to up to game, you know? These young girls are the only ones I care about. I keep seeing so much about whose fault it is. Oh, where are their parents? Where is this? Where that? Look, young people, if they want to do something, they're going to find a way how to do it. Let's not act like we all didn't sneak around or lie behind our parents' back to go somewhere. We've all done it. I did it. I know other people who did it. My friends did it. So I know I'm not the only person who was out here sneaking around, lying to my parents, doing stuff I wasn't supposed to. Let's not act like we all waited to marriage to have sex. I'm married and I know I didn't make it till I got married to have sex. So let's not act like that. So I know these young girls was out here. They saw he had money. That's attractive to little little teenagers who ain't got nothing, who don't have jobs, who only go to high school or something. He got money. Oh, he got he got alcohol. He got he got some weed. Let's go over there and hang out with him. Oh, we just we just you know we just gotta fuck a little bit. We just gotta have sex. Like that's what girls like that age are going to find cool or going to find attractive or something like that not even that it's attractive but they just going to do it because he has it in its offer and they want something to grow a grown woman if you got your stuff together if you got a job if you got your own living situation car whatever that's not attractive don't nobody want no oh i can get you club tickets i can get you i can get you into this i can buy tickets to the club i can buy tickets to a concert i can buy weed i can buy liquor like i'm grown don't nobody have to entice me with alcohol like that's not attractive to grown women that's why he picked the perfect victim young black girls that nobody cared about and it's surprising to me that somebody started to care it took someone to get hiv to finally care and that's the sad part when everybody around him pretty much knew the pictures are proof he has been laying. I've seen pictures as far back as 2010. The pictures are proof. You look at these pictures. These girls look young. These girls are young. So can't nobody say they didn't know what he was doing. I've I've seen so many conversations about him online, and that people had to know. People had to know. Nobody just, you know, moves in silence like this. Especially when he is online offering 
Hey, who trying to make $200 tonight? Hey, who trying to come through and chill tonight? Hey, who trying to who trying to get eight tonight? Like, he's offering an advertisement. Offering. And all these girls, hey, hey, me, what's up? What's up? Hit me up. Like, everybody knows. And then he got men, when they see these pictures of these young girls on the in the albums, they talking about, oh, she hot. Oh, this make me horny. Oh, she's sexy. Look at that. Like, we know these is young girls. Dudes, are, men are not stupid. Men are not stupid. Their body might be grown, but let me tell you something. Girls don't speak like adult women. Girls do not speak the same way. They might be game. They might think they talk, you know, like women. And men will tell them, oh, you're so mature for your age. No. 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 That does not exist. I'm sorry. It does not exist. If a man tells a young girl that she's mature for his, her age, he wants you for one thing, baby. And that's to have sex with you. He's going to game up your mind so he can get to your body. And that's most likely what happened in all these situations. All these girls and thongs bent over, tongue all in the mouth. Just nasty. Nasty. Like, I'm looking through the pictures. I had, I got like halfway through and had to stop. I was like, this, this is, this. This this is the nastiest set of photos I've never seen. And it just looked like everybody's breath stank. The room looked hot. People looked sweaty. Everybody's sharing the same pants. I'm sure they smell like coochie. Like, ugh. Ugh. And it's just, and I know they got to see these pictures. And he had one main girl posting all the photos for him. And she was she's complicit in all of this too. She's complicit because she was out there getting these girls for him. Out there going out and inviting them back. She's complicit in all of that. But now she on social media acting like she's not. Like she's trying to distance herself because everybody knows. But let me tell you something. It's laid out already. Y'all have left all the proof behind. So when he does have his court case and he goes back and his trial starts and everything like that. He done laid out all his life on social media. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that his accounts haven't been shut down. But we know probably. We know that because it's not something that's reached a national level yet. It's only national, social media wide. I'm not seeing him on the nightly news. I'm not seeing him on Fox. I'm not seeing him on CNN. I'm not seeing him nowhere. But we know if he was a black man sleeping with all these white girls, getting white girls HIV, oh, his ass would be on every news network. He probably wouldn't even be alive right now. He'd be somewhere dead. He'd probably be PC'd up in jail. Okay. He, don't, he wouldn't even need a bond hearing because he wants to stay in jail because jail would be the safest place for him if he was out here committing rapes and kidnappings and sex trafficking young white girls. They don't care about black, black girls. They don't care. That's why I keep saying he chose the perfect victim. I'm so tired of seeing... Black women aren't saying nothing or black men are not saying enough and everybody needs to say something and it's not a versus black women versus black men. How about just somebody stand up and defend these little black girls? Just defend these black girls. Do not help create the perfect victim. Don't show them that y'all don't give a f y'all don't care about the black youth. Say something. It's nasty. Everybody should be rallying behind these girls, supporting them. This is sad, and it's an unfortunate situation. And uh, I just, I really, I really want to see this whole thing through. I hope more girls come forward. I hope more people say something. I hope more people speak up. More girls, whoever's infected, get treatment, get help. Because... It's unfortunate. It's sad. And it's life altering. These girls will never be the same. The ones that are infected. Even the ones that were kidnapped and sex trafficked. They don't. People don't re recover from that without therapy. Without time. And they're young. So you know when your mind is young and impressionable like that. That is something that you'll carry with you for a long time. And it's just unfortunate for the girls. So I'm going to wrap this video up. If you got something to say back. Go ahead and leave a comment below. But I'm going to follow this case as much as I possibly can because we know it's not nationwide. And we know it's not being uh, discussed as much as it should be. But we're going to make it national news. And we're going to spread this. 
because he shouldn't be getting away with this. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.